the flight, the flight called G. Boys and girls, Toastmasters, Chris, I got a secret for you. I used to be illegal. That's right. See, now I have my passport. I kept the old one and the new one, because I'm really proud of it. And you know, two-thirds of Americans don't even have a passport, but I really cherish the fact that I have my passport. And I'm going to tell you the story of how I got my passport. Incidentally, I don't think it's necessary to have a passport to be president of the club, so don't let that stop. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this is sort of, for me, like, you know, I mentioned on Monday night I'm a big fan of Breaking Bad, and I think about underneath the ground there's a parallel universe, maybe there's someone making some meth right underneath where we are. <laughs> so this is my story, how I got my passport. This was back when I lived in Los Altos, and my friends knew I couldn't go to Ireland, which was where my company, it had a company function every year. And Joy, there's Joy and Letitia, some who are the heroes of this story. Joy whispered to her mom, tell Cole about the fight. And then they tried to hush her up, her mom, Letitia. And Letitia came up to me and said, we'll mail it to you. Mail it to me, and what was it? So I waited until Monday morning. In two days, I got it at my Mountain View post office. A little scrap of paper that says, should you choose to bring a certified check for $4,800, it was written in pencil, you will, your dreams will come true. That's all it said. I really wanted this dream because I, my parents never had a passport. I couldn't leave the country. So here it was, my passage to, to my dreams. So I had the $4,800. I told Patricia, I'm going. Can you help me out here? And she says, just follow the instructions. And I did. I flew to New York. Actually, I flew to New Jersey, took a train to Grand Central Station, got off 46, I guess it's 46th Avenue, walked two blocks, and then walked five blocks on 7th, and there I was. It's called the Philippine Embassy. This is where, the sec where the, this parallel universe begins. I walk in, my instructions are, go to the elevator marked F for the flight. Go down, six floors, and there it was. This big building, it actually looked like Grand Central Station. No windows, just 10 parallel lines, people on line. I got into a line, someone comes up to me and says, choose a city, and I chose Sipo City. And the way it works, well, I'll tell you when I get to the front of the line, but this is just like, it was to a total secret society where go in there, you get in line, then when you come up there, they ask you where do you want to go. I said, Sebo City. Give my $4,800, they give me a passport, and then they bust me to, to Connecticut. Get on a flight to Connecticut, and I'm in the Philippines with passport, with this passport. And this is amazing. In all this time, I couldn't tell anyone. But now, since the supposedly the immigration law is going to come in true in a couple of months, they're not going to be able to throw me out now. I don't think. But anyway, the only other thing I had to do was invite. This is where it sounds a little like a uh, little daisy chain here. You have to invite one of your friends on a flight to the Philippines, which I did because that's a small price to pay. Forty-eight hundred dollars plus their flights to the Philippines. I got my passport. And I am so darn appreciative that every day, every, I wear this to, to Toastmasters. She didn't realize that. So I'm so, so thankful. And our first thing I'm going to thank is Jamie Agashev.